Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 2 of Let's FIFA 14 and in this episode we'll kind of continue from where we left off in the last episode. We're playing some offline games in the Starter Cup and we'll also be playing some Division 10 and finally build a new squad around some skillers and take it online uh, to play one game in the online Division 10 and it's actually a quite entertaining game so yeah, let's get going. We are into the into the Starter Cup, the semi-finals and that tournament was an amateur so I just did everything to get the five goals to get the maximum amount of coins and just move on through into the final because what I wanted was basically the customization pack you got for winning the tournament and also the 500 coins so uh I moved on into into the final there and uh, we go up against a Galatasaray but it doesn't really matter who your opponent is when you play an amateur because it is so very easy and we pick up a penalty the second one uh, in the series so far and uh, yeah we make it 1-0 and 2-0 and yeah it was just about getting those five goals to get the maximum amount of coins pretty much so yeah nothing interesting going on apart from this goal which I thought was kind of a nice outside foot volley into the top corner didn't look too bad there and in the end we win the game at 5-0 there uh, and yeah, we pick up uh, we pick up the pack and we pick up 500 coins there and Messi giving the thumbs up and uh, yeah, we got a few more coins in the bank which is not too bad but I'm still waiting a little bit before I pick up any players and I open up that customization pack and it's basically badges, kits, stadiums and footballs uh, for your club so it's not too bad if there's anything you'd like like if you'd like some new kits or something like that uh, there's probably some stuff there worth getting and I did use one of the stadiums to activate it as my new stadium to complete one of the manager tasks and then I headed on into uh, into Division 10 offline to play that a final game to see if I can pick up the trophy and uh, get those uh, 3.8 coins you get for winning the offline uh, Division 10 and uh, we get a quite good start, start here Sturridge uh, turning the defender we take the shot and Dyer getting the rebound to make it 1-0 it was against Malmö on the world class so I tried out a few skill moves didn't get that many goals but I will get a second one there with Adrian and make it a 2-0 win the game win the win the division and get a bunch of coins there 3.9k add uh, a bronze pack as well which I would go out and open up as well and to be honest there's not that much stuff in that bronze pack there's a contract a rare one which can be used on the gold players but really not too much stuff to talk about there and uh, then it was time to kind of uh, kind of see if we complete all the final manager tasks because now I had quite a few coins and uh, one of the tasks was to list up a player which was quite simple but one of them was also to apply contract fitness and chemistry style and chemistry style I didn't want to go out and buy a chemistry style item and apply it on a random player I wanted to apply it on a player I was going to use and now I had the coins to pick up the main man the first player I wanted to go out and buy Ronaldinho of course uh, he is always the first player I'll go to whenever I start up ultimate team and uh, yeah we pick him up there for 6.5k and he's actually really, really good on the game. At least the games I've played with him so far, he feels really, really good to play with. And we apply a contract there, and we apply a fitness item uh, to complete the man manager tasks. And finally, we go out and pick up the Maestro chemistry style to apply on Ronaldinho for 1.9k. And uh, that completes all the manager tasks. And uh, we have Ronaldinho there with a chemistry style as well. So that was kind of a nice, uh, like doing two things at the same time. And we get that a free gold pack for completing all the tasks. And in that, I actually get some quite good items, not players, but two chemistry styles, and the one went for 2k, the other went for 3k coins, and 2,000 coins, so there's actually quite a few coins in this pack worth, but I didn't sell on the chemistry styles, because in a few weeks time, I could imagine them going up in price, because they will be something people want to use, just like formations uh, last year, like 41212 was extremely expensive, I could see maybe the Hawk chemistry style be quite expensive uh, in a few weeks time, so I'm hanging on to them, it's either sell them on or use on my own players, but uh, we still had a few coins left after having picked up that pack and getting those 2,000 coins. So we picked up a few more players for our side. We get a Villian as a center defensive mid. We pick up Reva as well as our center back. And um, we actually also picked up a striker in Scotia, which actually is really, really good. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot, good shooting, long shot trade, I believe. And overall, really good player. And finally, we pick up Victor as our goalkeeper there uh, to use in our squad. So the, the side is kind kind of starting to shape up because what I'm going for is sort of a South American National League team uh, so just a mix of the leagues and nationalities uh, from South America uh, but yeah, after that I decided it was time to list up Sturridge. He had one contract left and the same thing applied for Dyer and uh, for Fletcher and I didn't want to uh, 
waste their final contract because when you list them up you can see they used all the contracts and myself when I go to pick up players I'd rather spend 200 coins more on players to, uh, and then have them with more contracts basically so uh, I decided to to list them up before the contracts ran out and Sturridge would sell on for 17.5k he went for so much coins because he had 90 pace and 4 star skills and good shooting and dribbling on him and was a Premier League player so I was quite happy about that because that meant I could go out and finish off my squad and we pick up manual there not the best fitness on him but he had more contracts than the other ones and i could uh, put him on the bench and then play winston reed instead of him in the first game just to get the fitness up on him and then we pick up a left back as well in adi and uh, he looks to be really really good on the game he got 82 pace medium medium work rates and then he got like 80 something strength he's really really strong good on headers as well and seems to be a very solid uh, left back on the game and uh, this year strength is quite important as well as, especially from the games I've played so far on Ultimate Team you seem to be muscled off the ball quite easily if you don't get away from the defenders even if they're slow so uh, I think it's quite good to have a mixture of pace and strength in the defense and then we pick up uh, Moreno and Ortega as well we picked up Moreno, M Moreno as a striker instead of a center forward he cost about 3k more coins uh, in a striker's uh, position instead of a center forward and I thought that was worth it because the center forward to striker card usually go for quite a few coins and then we pick up the Lenji there a center defensive mid a Colombian player from the Liga do Brazil which will link up with Ortega and Moreno and also all the Liga do Brazil players I have in my side so he's a nice player there to tuck into the midfield and finally we get a Veles with a medium medium work rate I believe 81 pace and he will nicely link up with Ortega so this is pretty much the squad we'll be playing with in our first games we have Victor and goal uh, Manuel and and the river in the defense is kind of a small and a tall defender and one with a lot of pace and one with decent pace then we have uh, Addy and Veles on the right back and left back Valencia and Villiers as my center defensive mid both with high defensive work rate and decent uh, all-round stats and then we have Ortega and Ronaldinho on the center attacking mids and finally Moreno and Scotio as the strikers and Scotio he looks to be a perfect buy. 450 coins for a 4-star skiller, 4-star weak foot and a lot of good trades on him. He He's just a really good player to pick up and he played really well for me in the games I've played so far. But yeah, uh, we switched the Manuel and uh, Winston Reed around before we went into the game because Manuel did have low fitness and uh, yeah, we went on into our first online game and look at that nice little goal from Ortega there from the start of the game. But a few minutes later, he would get back with Shamak to make it a 1-1. But it was a game where I had a lot of pressure on him. And a few minutes later, three minutes later, I break through with Moreno and I make it a 2-1. But then in the 30th minute, I tackle the ball, get a bad first touch. I tackle the ball again. He picks the ball up again and he gets the goal. And I just couldn't seem to get away from him in this game because I had a lot of the play on his half of the pitch. But he just seemed to get back into the game whenever I got a goal. But in the 44th minute, a finesse there into the far corner and they still seem to be quite overpowered uh, I was told they were going to be fixed uh, for the final build of FIFA 14 but this still seemed very very strong but nonetheless we get another goal there with Ronaldinho a cheeky little chip over the keeper there after going past one defender and we get another chance 68 minutes I'll take on the ball a few nice skill moves here inside the box we take the shot and scotch you there to pick it up to make it a 5-2 and that is how the episode end I thought of adding in another game in this episode, but I know this week is going to be busy with university work, uh, university work, so I'll basically save the game for tomorrow, and tomorrow will just be an episode with just gameplay, skill goals, and all that kind of stuff. So look forward to that, and that will be the end of this episode. I hope you did enjoy it, and yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.